Hey friends, so today I'm gonna show you how to make the simple crochet cable blanket. Um, this is an old design that I did several years ago and I wanted to do a more beginner friendly tutorial for anybody who's maybe never done cables or maybe you've only done one or two cable projects. So today what we're using is a five millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. All of the details to this pattern can be found down below in the description box. You can hit the link and head straight over to the blog for the exact details. And then of course, if you wanna make something larger than a crib sized or baby sized blanket, the pattern PDF is available for purchase that has sizes all the way up to king size. So I just wanna preface this video by saying this is a little bit more of an advanced pattern. However, I'm gonna go slow enough so that if you've never done cables before or you're still kind of a beginner with some practice, you could totally figure this out. So rest assured, um, I'm gonna help you as best I can to be able to do this crochet cable blanket. Okay, so we're gonna begin by making a slip knot. And this pattern is worked up in multiples of 15 plus two. So we're just gonna go ahead and begin by chaining 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then add the plus two on the end, one, two. So obviously this is just a sample, but it's enough to help you understand because the pattern is very repetitive. So in row one, in the third chain from the hook, we're gonna place a double crochet. Remember that the loop on your hook does not count as a stitch or anything like that. So we start counting down here. We have one, two, three. We're gonna place a double crochet in that third chain. So that's a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna do two more double crochets slowly, just so you can see. It's a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna continue all the way down your row for however many chains you need to do for the size you're making on this first row, just doing double crochets. Okay, so we just did our last double crochet and now we're gonna go ahead and turn. So for row two, we're going to chain two, one, two, and this chain two is gonna count as our first double crochet. So we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, double crochet in the next two stitches. So the double, cro or I'm sorry, the chain two is coming out of this first chain right here, so that's one and we're gonna double crochet once in each of these next two stitches. So remember, it's a yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then a double crochet into the next stitch. And now we begin our cable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip 
three stitches. So one, two, three, we're gonna skip over those. And we are going to front post triple crochet into the next three stitches. So normally whenever we're crocheting, we're kind of looking at the top and paying attention to these little Vs. But when you're doing cables, you're actually working in the posts and the posts are these long parts right here. So we've skipped over one, two, three. And now what we're gonna do is work a front post triple crochet. So a triple crochet is very similar to a double, but instead of wrapping once, you're going to wrap twice. So here we are at our post. We've wrapped twice. We're going to insert our hook behind this post, just like that. Okay, I'll do it again. It's this post right here. We're just gonna insert our hook right behind the post. It slides in perfectly. We'll yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So the idea is exactly the same as a double crochet. We just added in an extra yarn over, pull through two. So it gives us this nice, long, stretched out um, stitch so that we can work and form our cables. So we're gonna do that same exact thing in these next two stitches. We're doing a front post triple, so we wrap twice. Insert your hook behind the next post. So we're popping that out to the front. We're gonna yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do it one more time. Wrap twice, insert your hook behind the next post, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now you might be wondering, well, what, what are we gonna do with these three that we skipped over? So one reason why I call this a good beginner cable is because all of the cables are worked in the front. There's no behind or none of that stuff happening. So essentially what we're doing is we're building the cable and we're twisting it on the front of the work versus other types of cables where you're working back behind stitches. That's a little more difficult. This is just to kind of get your feet wet and uh, get you used to the idea of working forwards and backwards. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work front post triple crochets in these stitches that we just skipped. So make sure that your tension isn't too tight because you've gotta give yourself some room to be able to move around. So we're gonna wrap twice again. We're gonna come back to that first stitch that we skipped. We're going to insert our hook. We're going to yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So as you can see, these stitches are already starting to peek behind those other stitches, which is exactly what we want. So wrap twice again, go into that next stitch. So stitch two of the one we skipped and work a front post triple. And if you're finding that your tension is too tight, feel free to go up a hook size if you feel like that's gonna help. One more. A front post triple crochet. And so we've done the first little set. So the cable is broken up in three, three, and three. Nine total stitches that kind of weave back and forth between one another. So now all we have to do is in these next three stitches, we work three more front post triple crochets. So now we're just moving forward with our cable. And we work, I did not wrap twice. <laughs> Make sure you wrap twice. Otherwise your uh, stitch isn't gonna be long enough and it'll be kind of scrunched up and you don't want that. So just wrap twice. And work that front post. One more time. Okay. So there's our first little cable setup. We have 
these three peeking over, these three going behind, and these three just hanging out waiting for their turn to get involved in the cable. Now we're gonna double crochet into the next six stitches. So just count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we're at our next cable. And remember, it's the exact same way we just did this one. We're gonna skip these first three. We're gonna start here. We're gonna wrap twice, insert our hook behind, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, wrap twice, go into the next one, yarn over, pull through, or I'm sorry, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more time, working those front post treble crochets, and now we've gotta go back and pick up these three that we skipped. So we're still gonna wrap twice, we're gonna go back to that very first one, we're gonna insert our hook, and it's gonna feel wonky at first, but it'll get easier by about row six. You'll be able to see really easily and the stitches are kind of laying down. It's just when we're first building the cable that it doesn't feel right and the yarn is kind of fighting against you a little bit. So once we get those three done, we do it three more times, front post, treble crochets. And if you had a longer blanket, you would do six again and another cable, six again and another cable until you get to the end. You do your last cable and then you end the row with one double crochet in each of the last three stitches. So we have a three double crochet edging. So between each cable, you're going to have six. You're gonna start and end each row with three double crochet and then you have nine stitches total making up your cables. So now for row three, we're going to turn. We're going to chain two and this chain two counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. So double crochets like normal. And this is where I think people get a little hung up. Because we did some skipping in the previous row, they assume that we need to skip here, but that's not the case. We are just gonna work straight across. You have to remember though, you've pulled these stitches this way, so now these that were first are now in the middle, and these that were in the middle are now last as we're working back across. So we're gonna be working back post triple crochets. So same thing, but instead of going this way, we're actually gonna come behind, and now we're gonna see our hook. So see, we're popping the post out towards the back. This is a back post triple crochet. Worked exactly how the front posts are. It's just we're grabbing from behind and popping the stitch out from the back just like that. I also wanna point out too that we do not um, mess with these stitches up here. We're only touching the posts. And I did say back post triple crochet, it is a back post double crochet. So reaching behind, popping that out to the back and just working your double crochet. So this is where it gets wonky and confusing. Remember, because we've got these moving this way and these moving this way. You just gotta make sure that you grab the right stitches in the right place. So just yarn over, grab from here, 
And what this row, this is a wrong side row, what this row honestly does is it helps the cable lay more flat. If we didn't include this row, the cable would not look as uniform as we might like. So we just did those three. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to yarn over and we're just gonna make sure we come back here and pull that up and work that front or back post double crochet. So yarn over, come back this way. And then the last stitch. Just like that. So I'm gonna turn it over for a second so you can see. Those back post double crochets force this crisscross to lay flat. So now the stitches that were in the front are going diagonal. The stitches that were in the middle are peeking behind these. And then the stitches at the ends are just sitting there waiting for their turn to become a part of the cable. So now that you've done that, we do six double crochet in between the cable, just like normal. And there's six. So here we are again at our next cable. We're gonna do three back post double crochet. These three first, real simple, it's a yarn over. We're going from behind, because we're popping the post towards the back. And now we're at the spot where we twisted our stitches. So remember, there is no skipping. These stitches are now in the middle, and these ones are pulled over. So we grab these first. So if you look here, you're gonna grab these first and then you're gonna come back and grab these. So we do a yarn over, go right there in that first one. Yarn over, go into the second one. Yarn over, go into the next one. And then here's those last three. It's just a yarn over, kind of come and grab it like that. And just work those back posts, double crochets. And then remember, once you get to the end of your row, after you work those cable six, cable six, cable six, you're gonna end with three double crochet and remember, our chain two at the beginning of the row counts as a double crochet, so don't forget to add a double crochet into the top of that chain two. Now we turn. So now we're on row four. So this is where things start to get fun because we start creating more of the cable. So we always begin our rows with a chain two that counts as our double crochet you're going to double crochet into the next two. And now instead of skipping like we did before, we're going to front post treble crochet those three that we moved from the middle to the first position. So make sure you don't do this number. You want to go actually down and grab the post itself and work your triple crochet. So wrap twice, go down and grab the post, make sure you get that third one, we're grabbing the post, and now we're going to skip the next three. So the first time we skipped the first three and went straight here, now we did the first three and we are skipping the next three and working front post triple crochets into the last three of the cable. So now we're skipping over these middle ones. And 
And now we're gonna do exactly what we did on that second row. We're gonna go back and grab these. So we're wrapping twice, going back to this first one that we skipped. And working our front post treble. There's the next one. Go right into that post at the top. Working the next one. And so there you have it. So now you can start to see our braid. We've got these stitches coming up behind, from behind here. This is crossing over and this one is starting to work behind. So the cable is all worked on the top. It's not so much like a French braid cable, um, which is another design that I have. This is just all on the top. We're twisting on the top. Now we do our six double crochet in between each cable. And we do it again. We're at the next cable. So we wrap twice, work those first ones, front post, triple crochet, work those first three, front post, triple crochets, we're going to skip those middle three, go to the last three, just like so. And now we're gonna go back to those three that we skipped. Remember, try not to hold your yarn too tight. You've got to have some loose tension so that you can work backwards and bring those stitches forward to a new position. And again, once you get out of this first set of five rows, it starts to get a little easier. And so you always end your row with three double crochet. Remember to place a double crochet in the top of that chain two. Turn your work. And then for row five, we chain two, we do a double crochet, a double crochet, and then back post double crochets. So remember, we switched stitches. So these here are actually first now, and these are in the middle, and then these are the easy ones. So you just yarn over, you can look to the front and make sure you're grabbing the first one. There's the first one. So we're gonna do a back post, we're popping the stitch out to the back, Yarn over, go to the next one, reach behind it, and right here these two stitches between stitch three and four is where you got to kind of manhandle the yarn to make sure that things are laying correctly. Go to your next one. I do recommend to make yourself a small swatch before you dive in and just tackle making, you know, a king sized blanket. Um, we're going to back post double crochet those last three, which are pretty easy. They're straight across. Make yourself a swatch um, and try to figure out the cables if you've never done them before. We're doing our six double crochet in between each cable now. So once you get the six double crochet in between each cable, making sure I get all of them, you just continue on with those cables working those back post double crochets. Remember, pay attention to where you've moved stitches. So here 
the middle ones are now the first ones. And then, you know, those first ones are now the middle ones. And then you've got your last ones, which are easy. They're just kind of laying there in place. Just like that. And then you end your row with a double crochet in the last three stitches. So it's really a repeat of rows two through five all the way. And as you can see, we've created the braid. We've got this one coming across this way, this one working behind, this one getting ready to do its thing. And it's just the same thing over and over and over again. You just keep repeating. So I will, um, real quick, I'll show you just what it would look like as the cable gets larger, just so you can have an idea. So for row two, we're gonna skip those first three and we're gonna grab those kind of hidden ones, if you will. And this is just repeating rows two through five all the way up the blanket. Just grabbing them like that. And then we go back to the ones that we skipped. And this is where we're creating another twist where we're hiding stitches behind another one. And this is what I mean whenever I say it gets easier the more rows you work up. It gets a lot easier the more rows you work up. So just like that. And after I do these, you can see a little more easily how the cables are forming. So this one is coming up this way, this one's hiding, this other one is wrapping and they're just intertwining themselves between each other. In fact, um, I'm gonna get the full blanket just so you can see a longer cable. Uh, let me get that real quick. Okay, so here is a full blanket of, uh, that I'm making in some different colors, but as you can see, you can see the twists and how the braid is happening on the top of the blanket versus looking more like a French braid. So almost more like a twist, but still a cable effect because they are intertwining like this over the top. Now, if you wanted to add in colors where you're changing colors, basically what you wanna do is you want to change when you're getting uh, on a front side row. So you wanna change on a front side row, just like I did here. And all you'll do is you'll tie off and then with your new yarn color, You'll simply insert your hook, put uh, the new yarn color on your hook with a slip knot, draw it up, and then just do your chain two and then work like normal all the way across. And so as you can see, I'm doing kind of like a navy yellow white combination and you'll be able to see um, these pictures on the blog. Um, I'm remaking the blanket to shoot better photos, but I just wanted you to kind of get a more clear understanding and idea of how to make this. And you can edge this blanket with a single crochet. You could do a ribbed edging. You could just leave it as is. It's totally a preference. And if you did single crochet, you just wanna make sure that on your side edges here that you're putting the same number on both the left and the right side. And obviously the top and the bottom are easy because there's already pre-made stitches. Just make sure that whenever you are putting stitches in your corners that you are putting three. So if you're doing a single crochet edging, you wanna make sure that when you come up to the corner, you put three single crochet to kind of make a nice rounded edge and then work your way across. And you do that in each corner. 
So hopefully that is helpful. Hopefully this encourages you to give crochet cables a try. I actually love cables. They're a lot of fun. I enjoy a fun challenge. And when I first learned how to do these, I was heavily addicted to them. And so I actually do have several designs uh, working up different types of cables in different ways. And so if you're interested in that, you can definitely visit my website and just search cables and all of those patterns. I have beanies, a sweater, several blankets, a pillow. Um, you can definitely check that out. And yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've ever tried cables or if this is going to encourage you to try cables. I would love to know. Share this video with other makers who you think might enjoy trying cables too if you're on Facebook or on Instagram. Twitter, any of those social media platforms, I would really appreciate it. Um, it helps me grow and it helps um, my designs get spread around even more. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.